Good morning. Um, I'm just going to share with you this morning. Uh, this is the, the week, the th uh, third week of my little series that I've been doing. God speaks because God does speak to us in so many different ways. And I've just um, picked out six ways um, that God speaks to us. So I'm going to be sharing them over the next few more weeks. Um, but before I do, I'm just going to say a little prayer. Lord, I just want to pray that this morning that, Father God, what I share um, will just touch hearts and lives. That you would just come and minister and that you would come and encourage and that you would come and bless. Lord, you will come and open up hearts, I pray in Jesus' name. And, and when I'm actually sharing and speaking, I'm, I'm just I'm a more of a practical application person where some people are more, um, you know, they speak more from the history of the Bible and things like that. And I, I more want to be able to share things more sim simplicity, you know, with simplicity. So you can actually just take hold of that truth and apply it and use it because that's what we should be doing with the Bible. So anyway, enough of that. I'm just going to move on. Um, so today I'm speaking about God speaks through worship and you know, through as we worship the Lord, uh, you know, we can worship the Lord in so many different ways. And as we worship the Lord, he can speak to us through that. And, and quite often with worship, the main main thing is that God uh, speaks to us personally. You know, if we're at home or, you know, you know, if we're just spending time, maybe driving in the car, God wants to speak to us personally. That's what worship is about. Mm -hmm. That's where it starts. It starts in, in our personal relationship with him. He wants us to be intimate. He wants us, we want to have that intimacy. It's like it's a heart to heart. You know, if you love somebody, you, you want to tell them you love them. You want to have that heart to heart relationship with them. And that's what worship is about. And it's not just about songs. It's not just about singing. It's about a lifestyle. It's about just coming to God and telling him how much we love him. And just, you know, being in his presence. Yeah. There's lots of other ways we can worship God. I've just said that the, I believe the first way is to, you know, for me, for me to just worship him alone. And there are other ways, church worship, worship in, in Christian me meetings, outreach worship, all those kind of, of ways can just build us up and encourage us. And it's so good to be worshiping with, uh, worshiping with other Christians. And then also online, there's lots of lovely worship songs online, on YouTube, on different you know, places you can find worship song songs you know, to, to tune into. So there's different ways we, you know, we can worship God. And worship is very powerful. And to me, it, it speaks about surrendering and yielding to the Lord because you know you're co you're coming to God and you're you're saying Lord I just want to yield I want to surrender to you I just want to tell you how much I love you it's being in, being in awe of him you know it's bowing down in reverence you know just being in f the fear of the Lord you know Lord I love you I worship you you are wonderful I just I just lift up your name uh, you're the king of kings and lord of lords you're the prince of peace it's just speaking out all of the truth about who he is and how much we love him and as I already said, it's a lifestyle. When everything else is stripped away from us, you know, what is left? What is left? Jesus. Jesus should be our everything. He should be our all. He should be our start and our end in our lives. Mm -hmm. And the more we worship, and the more we're intimate with him, because that's what, that's what he wants us to do, the more, the more we will hunger after him. You know, it, it, what, what, you, what we feed grows. You know, I've got a whole load of plants on the windowsill, and if I don't give them water, they'll die. I have to keep watering them and giving them more water now because it's the summertime. So if we if we worship God, if we um, you know we were hungry and thirsty for Him, if we worship Him and spend time in in that uh, relationship with Him, that will grow and it will develop and our hunger will deepen, and it will become more of a reality. It will become more of a part of our lives because that's what God wants to do. We need to cultivate worship in our lives, and so as I'm sharing this little word, I just want to briefly um, just share. Um, some of the, the scriptures um, in Romans 12 1 um, you know if you want to look up these scriptures um, I'm not going to read them all out but I'm just going to sort of talk a little bit from them in Romans 12 1 um, it, you know it's, it's talking about that we come and we surrender we surrender to the Lord and it's a consecration you know I'll come and offer myself to you I offer my body as a living sacrifice we're coming and we're surrendering and yielding to the Lord sometimes things might have gone in the way and we need to come back to God um, you know and, and yield and surrender to him and then in 1 Chronicles 16, uh, 23 onwards, it says, All the earth proclaims his salvation day after day. So part of worship is, is proclamation. We, you know, we proclaim things, we speak things out. It's proclamation, it's speaking out. It's speaking about, about God's greatness, mm -hmm. about how wonderful he is. That's part of it. You know, and it, it talks about all the earth will proclaim his salvation day after day. And then in Psalm 75, verse 1, 
It says, we give thanks to thee, O Lord, we give thanks. Because part of worship is about thanksgiving, you know. Quite often in the morning, Nick brings up a, a cup of tea. He makes tea better than me. And he brings up a cup of tea, and it's really lovely and strong, and it's just a lovely cup of tea. And I say, Nick, thank you so much for making that cup of tea. And in the same way, I know we can't compare a cup of tea to worshipping the Lord, but in the same way, we can thank the Lord for so many things. We can be thankful. Mm. And so in our worship, let's be thankful to God. And then finally, this last little passage I'm just going to read out to you. Um, in Revelation, day and night, Revelation 4, 8 onwards, day and night, they never stop saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You are worthy, verse 11, you are worthy, uh, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. Mm. For you created all things, and, and by your will they were created, and they have their being. So this is talking about day and night worshipping the Lord. Never stop praising him. Now, physically, we can't stand here and, you know, worship the Lord, you know, day and night. But we can in our hearts. We can always have that worship and that thanksgiving stirring up. You know, anytime. When we, first thing in the morning, if we're getting a shower, if we're out and about. You know, I feel like my heart's bouncing up and down. It's like it wants to jump over a skipping rope because there's that love and worship for the Lord. So we can praise him day and night in our hearts. And that, you know, we can come to him and, you know, he created all things. We can praise him and we can thank him for who he is. So this is, this is just like a few little things about worship. There's a lot more, a lot more to go through, a lot more to share. But I don't want to um, talk about much more now. But I just want to thank the Lord for this opportunity of being able to, to share this message with you. And, and maybe if you haven't had time today or recently, just take the time, you know, to spend in God's presence, listening to a worship song, you know, just, just, just give him the time. Just tell him how much you love him. Mm. Because it's heart to heart that the Lord wants to come and speak to us. So I just encourage you to do that today. And thank you for listening. I will be sharing um, next week another little message um, about God Speaks as well. So God bless you and hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for listening. Take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>